research published tonight has raised hopes of a breakthrough in diagnosing whether people are in a vegetative state. Scientists in Cambridge carried out tests on a brain-damaged woman who could move or speak. But when they asked her to imagine a game of tennis, her brain responded just like that of a healthy person. Our medical correspondent Fergus Walsh reports. Patients in a vegetative state are awake but totally unaware of their surroundings. In some cases, feeding tubes are withdrawn and they're allowed to die. But these scientists in Cambridge used brain scans to prove that a 23-year-old woman diagnosed as vegetative can in fact hear them and respond using her thoughts. We have found a way to show that a patient is aware when existing clinical methods have been unable to provide that information. It tells us that the uh, patient could understand speech because of course we, we asked her to do these things. It also tells us that she's able to perform simple tasks in her head such as imagining certain scenarios. So how was it done? Well during a brain scan healthy volunteers were asked to imagine playing tennis in their head or to walk around the rooms of their home. Then their brain activity was monitored. The same experiment was done with the brain damaged patient. It may sound odd, but if you simply think about playing tennis, it's enough to stimulate activity here, the premotor cortex, which deals with limb movement. Now, if we look at the actual brain scans, you can see the same area is lit up in both the volunteer and in the patient. Now, when they were asked to think about navigating round the rooms of their house, other areas of the brain were activated, identical in both the patient and the volunteer. Kate Bainbridge spent several months in an apparent vegetative state following a severe illness. She now communicates through a letter board and says this research shows that no patient should ever be given up on or allowed to die. I can remember when I couldn't respond. It was so scary. Nothing should be assumed. Scientists say the technique may allow them to identify which patients have awareness and it will reopen the ethical debate over whether it is ever right to allow vegetative patients to die. Fergus Walsh, BBC News. Israel has lifted its eight-week-long...